got him. Finally. Great Jogger's Claw. I think we got a lead. Hmm. Check it out. You were right. There's our mark. Something's got him agitated. <laughs> Look over there. What in the heck is that? I've never seen anything like it. You think it's from Zora Magdaros? I'd like to find out. But we better report back first. All right? Bonus rewards. Much more cool stuff. and grab some more stuff too. Cutscene. Well, I'd send some researchers out right now, but not with a pissed off Puke Puke hanging around. Uh huh. Puke Puke territory. That's pretty deep in the forest. We'll be better equipped to take it on. Once our team from the resource center is done rebuilding the forest camp, once it's ready, we'll make our move. Want to get going? 
Until then, we do everything we can to get <laughs> to help them get that camp up and running. Let's get to it. Once the camp is set up, you can go after that puke puke. Hmm. I wonder where the resource center is. How are you feeling? So, Hunter, have you gotten used to how things work around here? New world, new rules. It's something you have to get used to. But you will get used to it. You have to. Your life's counting on it. Not to mention others as well. Ha. Huh. Look around you. Everyone here. Strange or uh, crazy as they may seem. They've all crossed the sea just like you. And they've all carried out their duties. They look the new world in the eye and realize the old way of doing things wouldn't cut it. Didn't stop them though. They had conviction. Do you have conviction, <laughs> conviction, Hunter? <laughs> you should get to know your colleagues. Maybe some of that craziness will rub off on you. Ha! good to me well Fiverr is it true you're going to help us rebuild the camp that is excellent news I hope you're as good as they say you are if so we have plenty of work for you after all the Commission studies lots of things not just the elder dragon you came here with Maintaining and improving the base is a full plate of tasks in itself. Can't study anything without a proper HQ, after all. The resource center here is in charge of divvying up all that work and making sure it gets done. Push a camp. Go on an expedition into the ancient forest, find a valuable campsite, and make sure it's safe. If any monsters have decided to do any camping in your spot, you'll need to chase them off. Don't let me down. Got it. The bounty is for establishing the camp. Secure the campsite. You get research points and voucher. Resource center oversees researcher requests and manages the resources required for their investigations to do bounties you need to register beforehand whereas delivery requests can be completed just by handing in items when you unlock investigations during quests and expeditions check in with the resource center to make them available as special quests you can view res uh, resource center information anytime from the start menu under resource center Bounties are missions you complete over the course of your quests and expeditions. First, check the critical bounties, then pick a registered bounty. You can take on multiple bounties at once. Most bounties will reward you with armor spheres and research points. Once you've completed the bounty, drop by the resource center to collect your reward. Registered bounties. You can select up to six of these from the list to accept. The list is updated when you return from your quest or expedition, so check back frequently. These bounties unlock new facilities or upgrade existing ones and are accepted automatically. The critical ones. They can all be completed in parallel with your registered bounties and with one another. Limited bounties. These quests are offered periodically to online users around the world and are available for a limited time only. When the next limited bounty is released, it will overwrite the previous one. If you want to complete them all, be sure to keep an eye on the expiry date. So let's check out critical. Rebuild. That one's on. There's no limited. Three insects. Plants. Mining. Plants. Honey. And mushrooms. So, yeah.
Okay, let's get this expedition underway. Meet me at the gate. There's people that want to talk to me, though. Smart biologist. Good to see you. Ah, uh, Hunter, since you've established yourself as a reliable presence here, I'd like to make a little request. When investigating large monsters, you can either slay or capture them. Naturally, both have their scientific merits, but frankly... Well, it'd be better for our long-term research to receive a live specimen that we can return we later, expedition <laughs> later return to the wild. Or you so if you capture your quarry alive... For you. So if you capture your quarry alive, you'll be commended for it and receive greater rewards. Commission rules. Good luck. How about it? Capture your targets instead of slaying them. You'll be making a great contribution to our efforts here. So is it true? They say you've picked up Zora Magdaris's trail. Well, I sure hope so. Try hard, will you? I've been placing bets with the others that you're the hunter who's going to bring back the goods. Don't let me down. So, what is it? Monster Field Guide updated. Great Jagras. So I've got that almost level 2. And it looks like it'll, it'll, from what he said before, it'll help me track them down easier in the future. Right now, we're in Astera. If you want to go on an expedition, open your world map and choose your destination. For this expedition, we need to head to the ancient forest. We can expand expeditions as we delve further into the new world. Pretty good incentive to explore, right? Smithy wants to talk to me. Oh! Oh, oi, Fiverr. What have me underlings brought blueprints for some equipment he wants to forge? Problem is that we need some special materials to get this done, so I put it in a delivery request for them. Give us a hand, will you? Stay tough. It ain't an urgent thing, so whenever you find yourself twiddling your thumbs, head to the resource center and get it done for us. Some scary costumes in my time, but that clown suit takes the cake. I've got just the treat to fix up your tricks. Autumn harvest ticket. Required five of them. I have one. Harvest layered armor. Okay, so this is a special event. Special har autumn harvest event, which is only on until the fourth. How's your gear holding up? If hunting's taking too long, upgrade your weapon. If you keep collapsing, upgrade your armor. Just take that as, a, as advice from the smithy to you. So what are we hammering together this time? Can I upgrade my equipment? Ooh, customizing bow guns. Bow guns can be enhanced by adding mods. Number of mods can be added varies depending on the rarity of the bow gun. Multiple mods is the same effect. Okay, bow gun's the big thing, the big actual gun. So we don't know what we need to make those. No, do not roll back the upgrade. I'm currently Iron Katana 2. Hmm. 
Hm. Armor. <laughs> so that's the autumn harvest. It's pumpkin armor. Jack and lantern armor. That's pretty cool. We'll get some food again. We're on the hunt. How about we do a little expedition action out in the ancient forest and check out the new campsite? Just gotta head out the main gate. Oh boy, I need to get some food in me before I head out, but don't worry, I'll catch up. Multiplayer, you can enjoy quests and expeditions in a team of up to four players form from the maximum 16 players present to your online session. Players in the same online session can communicate via chat regardless of their actions. Many quests can be joined while in progress. Expeditions are unlocked as you progress through the game. Multiplayer is not available during story related expeditions. When choosing a quest, select post a new quest then select the following options. How many players? Set the passcode. Select a join quest to participate in a quest or expedition initiated by another player. Doing so will send the quest leader a join request so they can approve you. Join requests are set to auto accept by default. To change this, select quest join settings from option to set join <laughs> request to manual. Expeditions are not listed on the quest counter unless an SOS flare has been used. If no one in your online session is recruiting for the quest you want, you can select online sessions to move to a new session to try again. Many requests and expeditions can be joined while in progress. However, if you join a quest in progress after a set time has passed since it was begun, you will not receive credit for completing the quest, and you will not earn the quest rewards. Please keep this in mind when joining quests. You will still retain any items carved from monsters or gathered while on the quest. Rewards for breaking monster parts or capturing monsters will still be earned as long as the relevant conditions are met. Do a custom platter.
depart on expedition. Your palico can speak with Grimalkinds and certain other monsters to convince them to help you on your hunts. Those who befriend you will accompany you for a short time as tail riders. Tail raiders. That's cool. You can depart on an expedition by selecting a destination from the world map without first accepting a quest. Unlike quests, expeditions are very open-ended are great if you want to freely explore the world. Expeditions have the following special characteristics. There is no time limit. You will not fail no matter how many times you faint. There are no completion conditions or rewards, but you will keep any materials you gather and points you earn. Monsters will depart the field after a set time elapses. You can decide when to return from an expedition once you've done exploring. Once you're done exploring, return by doing one of the following. Speak to the handler at the camp. Select return from expedition from the menu. Select a stair from the world map. When you return to camp after completing a quest, you will automatically switch to an expedition. If you then accept a new quest from your handler, it will take less time to prepare for that quest, provided that the new quest takes place in the same locale. This is really cool. Let's look for the campsite. Whenever you leave the base without signing up for a quest, you'll go on an expedition. There's no time limit or cap on how many times you're allowed to faint, which means you can explore to your heart's content. Like I always say, research is neat, but first we eat. You have a barbecue spit handy? Just grill some raw meat up, golden brown, and it'll raise your stamina level. Hit circle to make take the meat off the flame. Remember to keep an eye on it. Don't let it burn. You should be able to get some raw meat from hunting Aptonoth. Okay. Well, you can fast travel back to camp simply by selecting it from the wildlife map. Endemic Life Researcher. Unique Mushroom Colony. Okay, so I guess we're going to be doing an expedition for a while. Resident Leninian expert there might be able to give us a hand with our research. Other members of the field team are out on expeditions as well. Say hello when you happen to see them. If you happen to see them. Hello. Oh, hello. I'm a researcher with the commission. My field is the Grimalkines. Yes, Grimalkines. Grimalkines are a type of Linian that are native to the New World. I wish to communicate with them and learn their lingo. But these creaky old bones just can't keep up with the flighty little chaps. Perhaps you could be of help. By my gnarly knuckles, if you could chase after them, we'd track them down in time it <laughs> takes to say meow. What do you say? You'd be doing an old man a favor. Hmm. 
The Grimalkins in this area call themselves bug trappers. I've seen their trails not too far from here. To track them, find their trail and try putting your scout flies on it. Big freaking grasshoppers. Emperor Hopper. Grasshopper as big as a moniker would suggest. It's swift, frenetic jumps make it hard to capture. Doodles. Oh, are these wild cats? Unique mushroom colony. Those are big ants. Carrier ants. It looks like they're wild cats. Tribal cats. Those are big fish. Maybe I can capture them. Paratoad, toad that releases paralyzing gas on impact. Its effect potent enough to paralyze even large monsters. Ah. Capture these guys. I mean, like, think about being able to capture monsters. This is interesting. Let's report our findings to everyone at the resource center when we get back. Ow. Okay, so I killed it. little raft Paratoads. It's this supposed to be a grappling bug, so I doubt you can capture it. Nice. 
nice. So it's it's cool that when you find the stuff it maps it so that you can come back to the area. Old footprints. Hmm. Capture two of them. Bait bug. Insect used as fishing bait. Fish favorite practically races down the nearest gilly gullet. Over here! destination for your scout flies on the map. Over here.
Oh, is my inventory full? Over here. I think we could build the camp here. Let's ask the head honchos. Hmm. Over here.
Let's go fight that uh, Anjanoth while it's here. Oh god, that's what it is. Dung. I think this stuff respawns. Over here. This is going to be bad. Monster is too dangerous. Dangerous. Don't try to engage it. That's not what we came for. Well, I'm dumb, so we'll see.
Over here. Okay, he just dug through the ground. Over here. Nice light crystal. Over here. Over here. Your stamina cap has dropped. Eat some well done steak to restore it to max. Okay, so I didn't notice it auto craps it. Over here. Oh. Trying to find the Grimal kinds. Is that a pig? Over here.
It's like a... Packy pig. Oops. Moss swan. Musty hide covered in moss. I wanted to capture that. It's a freaking packy packy pig. Those things though, maybe Over I can here. capture those. Horse Terex, rare bird, though it resembles fossilized species, it also has unprecedented physical features. Over here. Awesome. Woodland Terex. Common in forested areas, bones and feathers resemble the prehistoric creatures. It's really cool. Over here. 